Hi guys, I have an idea. This is a completely 100% spontaneous video, but I did want to do another baking with brie. So this isn't really baking though. This is, this is when you have a tub of like molasses and you just can't be bothered to get that last little bit out. Just fill it with like water and flour and make dough and then we'll make horse pickies. Because you know, doing that, walking inside and making a YouTube video about it is way less effort than just getting a spatula. But I'm just feeling so, so, so grateful lately for Finny and everything. So I just want to do something nice for him. So yeah, let's see if this works. I bumped it, I bumped it, I'm sorry. This is like the worst part of these videos is trying to get the angle right. Wait, you're, <laughs> you're being held up by a salt jar, an empty biscuit container, a packet of soup and my charging cord, sticky tape to the wall. Right, I thought I'd get those done before I get my hands all dirty. I'll grab these. Look what I found. There's a choo-choo train one. So I had another brilliant idea. Before Harden, I'm going to make a bunch of these. Because if you don't know, Harden is an event in New South Wales right next to a big railway line. And you have trains going past while you're doing your cross-country run. But we'll go with these three, I reckon. Also, look at my hair. I recently got it cut. And I freaking love it. I bumped it again. <laughs> I might show you the setup on my mum's phone so you can see. Um, anyways, yeah, this is your sign. If you want to do something different, do it. Do what makes you happy because there are certain people, <coughs> Heidi and my mum, that don't like my hair, but I love it. Right. <laughs> this is the setup. Yeah. Okay, sorry, this is why I need like a plan, a rough script, you know, because this is supposed to be similar to the last video, like a review of the season so far. And we're going to talk about everything that happened. Goals for the second half of the season, which starts in August in 33 days. But who's counting? Not me. I'm not counting. Let me just pour some of this in and we'll make the dough. Chef, chef, chef. I'm a chef. Ooh, the texture. <laughs> Five events in one season. That is insane to me. So last year we went to six or seven, but like Wallaby Hill doesn't count. Six, it must have been, are you kidding me? Please stay. Um, oh, no, I don't want to sound like a brat. Of course Wallaby Hill counts and that was like the biggest learning experience ever for me. And I feel like it really was like the key point where my attitude changed. Because if you're ever having a bad event, just remember, you didn't fall off before the first cross country jump, so it could be worse. But yeah, five like reasonably successful events is just incredible like is literally my dream i was so sad last year because i didn't get like my proper season like i keep going on about and i feel like i've had my first proper season and yeah the improvement is just amazing and i just can't believe that by the end of this year we might end up doing double what we did last year i'm just so so grateful for the whole process and for everything that's happened all the mistakes as well like it's just so much learning so proud of our dressage and show jumping well no for sydney and canberra it was the dressage that was sort of letting us down and then camden hart and aubrey it's the cross country that's not going to plan and then also the clear round day that cross country run we just did a 95 and we just had one stop there as well at jump number six my nemesis jump it's always a combination of things right there's just so many factors in this sport so many ways things can go wrong and you have to remember that usually it's like a combination of everything so like you can't just pin it on one thing and you can't just completely blame yourself for something because like the horse plays a part i am very much a believer like it's never the horse's fault well of course they play a part like you know well okay i take it back again like sometimes it is 100 percent right or fault but i feel like in all of the past four um circumstances it's been like just a huge combination of everything first of all the arrowhead at Harden, like i knew that he had doubts about that jump and i had doubts about that jump because like we'd had issues with it in training but i know like he was going so well for the rest of the course so i know if i had just like tapped in and actually sat up and put my leg on i just know we would have been fine and then at camden it was a bunch of things he pulled a shoe i'm pretty sure before jump one then stopped at jump one and then that threw us both off but again that was because i didn't ride it because it was a teeny tiny little log and i was like we've got this but again same as wallaby hill i'm never ever making that mistake again not riding jump number one i can't believe that was the second time i did that and then the trichina is where we got eliminated because we had three stops there and it's like right next to the warm-up. There were so many issues at that jump because the horses want to go back to the warm-up. 
we want to keep going past the warm up. It was really scary to Kane, like it was quite ditchy and yeah, he'd pulled the shoe and I just didn't ride it 100%. I know for next time, really slow up and then like use my crop, like use it a little bit out and then like a stride out from the jump. And then Aubrey, so many things at Aubrey as well. The weather, we were last on course. We didn't have the right studs in and I was just so busy stressing about those things that my mind wasn't 100% on the job. I'm just gonna get the little bits at the bottom out of here, but the dough is looking quite good. So the first jump we stuffed up was a combination where I literally did the same thing that I did in the 80 a whole year ago at Aubrey, but it was just in the 95. It was a four stride curved line and I just didn't turn. And it was really interesting because Brit, everyone's favorite beautiful, wonderful photographer was at that jump and I was looking at everyone's photos and a lot of the riders are like, my hands are like this over the jump because I'm trying to be like position obsessed, neat rider. But then you look at other riders and then they're literally, their hands are like this over the jump. So they're already turning that way over the jump, like midair, you know? And yeah, I just didn't make the turn. That wasn't even his fault at all. And we also got to fly into that first element. So it was harder to turn, you know? So now I know sit up, come short, take the deep spot into the combination and turn like while you're in the air and yeah, just ride it rough. Like it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's about getting between the flags. And then the ground was just so bad and I was riding backwards up to a skinny cause I had doubts about it being a skinny and I was you know, stressing about the conditions. The second I back off, that's the same thing as Harden and a lot of the other stops is just me freezing. And then Canberra was me being too determined because I literally like screamed at him coming up to that jump and I scared him. So yeah, as you can see, like it's all, so many different things, but I'm learning so much through every mistake, trying to stay really, really positive. But the goal for the 2023 second half of the season is fix the cross country. So stop making those mistakes. I think I need to find a coach, a cross country coach that I click with. I do have a bit of a plan of what I'm gonna do as in finding a good coach and Wagga, which is the event in August, the first event back, I'm gonna do the 80 there because we just need a fun run, like a confidence run. People step up and down all the time. Like it's no big deal and it'll just be really nice and relaxing, hopefully. I'll be able to go back and perfect what I messed up last year. Just practice riding, 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 but without the pressure of the jumps being so big. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that and just hopefully keep doing what we're doing with the dressage and show jumping. But if we want to talk goals about those phases individually, I wrote in my little journal at the start of the year to do a 105 and an elementary test like towards the end of this year. And I'm so freaking excited to say that we've already pretty much done both because I've entered in my first elementary at the end of this month, which is the 30th of July. It's now the 9th of July. He hasn't competed elementary before, so that means that I'm actually adding to his training, which is just amazing because he's just taught me so much. And now it's so nice to sort of be returning the favor and teaching him something and sort of like adding to his value in a way you know like now we're learning together it's not just me learning which was always something that I was really insecure about especially during the first year and a bit like I felt like I was ruining him because I had no idea what I was doing and I felt like I was making him like you know less sensitive and less confident and all that stuff but now we're feeling on top of the world I'm literally so excited like dress I just wear my heart is I'm just so so excited can't wait might even vlog it no I won't it's just it's like a little adult riding club competition so it's nothing too exciting but it's exciting to me and then we did a 105 show jump round at a jump club competition the other weekend and the first half like jumps one to seven were amazing again I stopped riding up to it would have been jump eight which had like little pools underneath it and I was like, yep, yeah, this is a good distance. I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing. And then he chipped to it. And then I was too busy beating myself up about that. And then we messed up the rest of the course pretty much, but he still got me around. He was so, so good. Like again, that's that same mistake of me not riding properly because he just needs that extra little bit of confidence. I would love to do another couple of meters, meter fives and get some more clear rounds under our belt. Cause we've only gone clear at a meter once. I think we've done six one meters and now one 105 but we've obviously done quite a few clear 95s which is amazing but yeah that sort of height is not an issue for him at all so it's just about me giving him the best ride i can as is usual gosh 
broken record over here. And my treats look so cute. I, I didn't preheat the oven though. I feel like I've said so much, but also like I'm very sure as soon as I turn the camera off, I'll remember something that I wanted to say in this video and I haven't said it. Oh, I know, let's set goals for Wagga. My favorite thing ever, setting goals. Baseline goals is just get there and back safely. And I just need to like, not stress at all and not get snappy no matter what because like I still tend to get you know quite stressed and then I'll like snap at mum or something and I just want to have like a really good time and that's the whole point of doing the 80 rather than the 95 is just to like de-stress and have a good time so that is number one priority this is not the same format that I did last time but anyway I think for the jumping phases we can just say I'd like to go clear please 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 and that's more of an expectation than like a sort of a, oh that would be so amazing you know like I'll be quite upset if we don't go clear at 80 after quite a few 95s under our belt now and that's the whole point is like a confidence run not to sound cocky though because like he definitely could still stop and I definitely could still ride like crap so um but for the dressage i just really would love to keep our streak oh we did an actda comp after this is definitely falling like the camera is definitely falling down sorry we did an actda comp after aubrey and we kind of stuffed that up like we made a few mistakes which is really annoying so i just like to have another clean test no jig jog would be amazing because we did jig jog at harden yeah aubrey and camden were like the best tests we've ever 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 done and they were both very similar i was manifesting that um camden test at aubrey and then it happened so i'll just i'll manifest again and we'll get a nice clean test hopefully yeah that's more of a dream but the goal i'd say is just no jig jog because that's really embarrassing i feel like this is falling further and further down um let me Okay, that's the best I can do. It's just not working for me today. What am I saying? Those are the goals for Wagga. I guess the dream would be to place. Like, that would be so cool. And then my dream for the season is to win a 95. But that might not happen this season. That might happen next season, say. But that is my, like, dream goal of my entire life. And then the elementary was one of my, like, big, big dreams as well. So I could not be more excited for that. Yeah, just would absolutely love to get to, like, all the events again this season. I cannot tell you how grateful I am to have been to them all so far. And then I have another cheeky mention that we're working towards that one star start in March, maybe, which would be... See, I can't even say it out loud. Okay, that's, like, my... That's my dream of the dreams. Crazy, stupid unachievable goal achievable but if like you know everything goes perfectly as in like no injuries and we find a good cross-country coach that can support us um with that step up and yeah i mean it's just not looking realistic at the moment because i'm literally stepping down to 80 but we'll just see i don't really know what this video has achieved but i really like making them like i just like to just talk oh i probably should mention that i did have plans to event two horses for this second half of the season but because it, all the prices have gone up and with the horse that i sort of leased over the off season things weren't really clicking so i sort of gave up that idea the reason we took on a lease horse was so that i could um, spread some of my attention between two horses instead of having my entire world revolve around Finn which I know is very unhealthy and dangerous but it just made me love and appreciate Finn more so yeah that kind of backfired I'm still still sort of open to the idea of having a second horse so we'll see what comes up but yeah obviously money doesn't grow on trees it's probably better to just spend that money on the event fees with one horse rather than two I see myself just focusing on Finn and YouTube. I freaking love vlogging and I'd really like to keep going. This is probably an unrealistic goal, but like vlog all the events of this season. No, we're not going to do that, but I'll try to do most of them. And also like obviously not take myself too seriously because I'm literally just an amateur competitor doing my little 95s, doing my 80s. So just gonna have fun with it. That's all. I'm gonna stop talking now. I've made all the biscuits. I've made so many. I'll show you the final product. He absolutely loves it. Wait, what? <laughs> Smile, smiles. Give me a smiles. Good job. He's a little butterfly. <laughs> Thanks for watching.